What's going on YouTube? My name is Yeggs, and do you suck at Last Spartan Standing? I kinda do. I might be the wrong person to listen to. But I can pick up a win here and there, and today I'm gonna be going over 5 things you can do to get some too. Halo Infinite's new Battle Royale gun game hybrid mode is an interesting twist on the formula, and it plays a little differently than other modes in the past. But with a little practice, you'll be teabagging out of joy instead of frustration. Avoid high traffic areas. This one is pretty self-explanatory, but you want to avoid the busy areas of the map where a lot of players are going to congregate. You might get a kill or two, but you only have 5 lives to work with, and a lot of the time it can be more effective to stay in the shadows and let the kills come to you. That doesn't mean you should camp one singular spot all game, you do want to be aggressive enough to level up and find equipment, but be careful about which gunfights you're getting into. And that leads me into... Don't start gunfights, finish them. Unless you have a really clear takedown on someone, you want to try to get into gunfights with players that already have low health. Listen for gunfire, and if it's close by, you'll probably also find one or more players that have already taken some damage. Getting quick and easy cleanup kills is a great low-risk way to level up. Just be aware of others that have the same idea as you. Hunt down power-ups. Active camo and overshield can single-handedly decide a fight, and they both appear in drop pods throughout most of the match. You probably know all about the damage these two can do, so hunt them down early and often. Being invisible or having extra shields can be the difference between a great win or a heartbreaking loss, so try to prioritize finding them, especially when it comes down to the top six. Don't forget grenades and equipment. Like power-ups, grenades and equipment can turn an entire fight around in your favor. Unlike normal Halo multiplayer, you don't automatically spawn in with grenades in this game mode, so be mindful of that and make it a point to find them. My personal favorites are frags and dynamos, but rock with whatever you like best. Equipment can also be used to get the upper hand in gunfights, so be sure to grab grapple or the dash or the repulsor if you're weird like that. Be careful of bonus XP drops. When players lose their fifth and final life, a bonus XP token thing appears on their body. These are really valuable when you're trying to level up fast, but be sure that the area around you is clear before trying to get it. These bonus XP spots are illuminated all across the map for everyone to see, and you're kind of putting a target on your back by going for them. It can definitely be worth it, but be smart about which ones you go for. So that's five tips for... Oh, hold on. I forgot one. Here we go. Pray that desync and SBMM don't ruin the entire experience for you. Anyways, those are just a few ways you can get some more wins in Last Spartan Standing. If you enjoyed the video or you learned something today, drop a like and a comment. And if you're interested in more backhanded Halo content, hit the subscribe button. Until then, this is Yeggs, signing off.